Good morning, everyone. Um, today is Thursday and I am working. I'm also making myself a salad right now. So for my salad, I have an Asian um, chicken sesame salad with cashew nuts. Um, this is the one from Costco. And then usually I like it with clementines, but I don't have any. So I put these tiny dragon fruit cubes in there that were from Costco as well. And I'm heating up some rotisserie chicken in there. And I toss it in and eat it. And then I have my green juice. This one is pineapple, celery, and water. Typically about three to five trading days for everything to, to flow through. Because, you know, if you can just think about the sizing of some of these models uh, and the fact that... What's um, up, guys? So I got a package. <laughs> The Juice Fountain Plus. That's cool. My mom bought this for me because she found out it was thalassemic and she freaked out. 9% water, 10% nutrition. Cool. I never thought I would get a juicer just because I've never really been into juice, but I'm excited to try this. Juice Fountain Plus. I love unpacking things. And then I'm going to get some fruits and vegetables later and we'll check out um, how to make some juices for tonight for dinner. Huh. Very good quality. Oh. Ooh, that looks sharp. Ooh. Okay, so you leave that. How does this work? Oh, okay. So I guess this can come out. Ooh. Oh, that makes sense. You line this first. It's a line. And then you put this into here. Oh, oh, oh and that spins. Okay. See the place? Ooh. Ooh. This is cool. Oh, okay, okay. So it goes like this. I don't want to break it. Oh, there we go. Safety latch on it. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Oh, so it doesn't make a mess. I get it now. And then you put this part. Oh, that's so cool. What is this? And I think it's just a scrub. Hmm. Cool. We sh we'll test it out later. For Raphael's last day, we're going to Wanakai Beach. We're at the beach right now. First time at the beach, actually. Oh, yeah. First time. Well, you went to Waimanala Beach, oh, yeah. but you didn't really yeah. go into the ocean. You see how fine the sand is? I think I'm gonna see more in detail when I... Yeah. 
We're at the beach. You guys see the rainbow? Small one. Hey guys, so I just got home from dropping Raphael off at the airport and the weirdest thing happened. So when I was test driving the Model Y um, a couple of days ago or yesterday, I don't remember, um, they were showing me the storage in the Model Y and they were like, yeah, so um, you can open up this compartment and there's more storage and it's like the compartment underneath your trunk. And I had no idea that we had those and they're like you have one in your model three as well so today after i was at the airport and i was taking um rafael's stuff out i opened up my compartment and there is an entire printer in there a printer with two of these freaking inks and the thing is ever since um buying my car i haven't used a printer i had never bought a printer it's very confusing that after, and I bought my car brand new in tw the end of 2019. And I don't remember ever buying a printer or having a printer. So I'm assuming somehow a printer was put in my Tesla before I even like, before I even bought it. Like people will probably test drove it or something. And maybe someone was bringing a printer somewhere, but oddest thing and now i have an entire printer that i left on the ground that i'm probably gonna sell but it's so confusing i don't know who would put a printer in my car anyways so i went to the farmer's market i tried to get some produce didn't bring cash and majority of farmer's markets is cash only so let me show you guys what i bought i bought oh so i bought a lot of ingredients to um juice so i bought this kale it looks super fresh and I bought all of this mint, like, wow. I bought both of these for $5, which is a steal. It's cheaper and probably fresher, of course, from the farmer's market. And then I bought, oh, and then I went to Whole Foods because Majority of the farms um, that were selling at the farmer's markets were cash only, so I had to leave. Um, bought some baby spinach from Whole Foods. Oh, I bought some celery, but broke right here. Too bad, whatever, I'm juicing it anyways. So I bought some of the celery. I was gonna buy my produce from Don Quixote just because it's cheaper than Whole Foods. Um, probably half the price of Whole Foods, but then I was talking to my family that, like my mom and my sister juices a lot, and they were saying that I should get more like organic um, produce because I'm literally drinking the whole thing. So it's healthier. Um, I bought this. So we have more dishwasher detergent. Um, Keith. Oh, he's in the bathroom. We can tell him I bought this. So I'm gonna put this away. Um, bought some more dishwasher, dish, dish soap. This is actually really, really good. We only have a bit left, so I'm gonna use up the rest of ours. Bought some heavy cream. I'm gonna make some vodka sauce pasta tonight. Bought some anchovies. Bought a grapefruit. Is this a grapefruit? Yeah, grapefruit. <laughs> um, bought two apples. Last but not least, these expensive as fuck mandarin oranges things, okay? So, you know how when you usually go walking to like Whole Foods and then they have like the seasonal products and usually because it's in season, it's cheaper my assumption so these i was gonna get oranges but then this was in season and they basically described this as like larger mandarins so you can like peel it like a mandarin and eat it like mandarin but it's like as big as an orange 
and Keith wanted some oranges so he can put it um, in his um, old fashions. So I bought these thinking they were cheap, but two of these were $7.50. That's crazy. Like, oh, never mind, never mind. I see that they were on sale. Oh, so they're on sale. So they were $5 for two, which I still think is a lot. I would buy two of these for $2, but that makes me feel better. Dang. I thought they were $7 at first until reading the receipt. On sale, so they were $5. Anyways, that kind of makes me feel better. I was kind of annoyed in the car ride. If I knew it was $7, I would have put it back. Um, anyways, let's get to juicing. So we are going to try out the juicer. I'm gonna put some spinach in first. I've never done this before. I don't even know how much to put in. Never juiced anything before, it's so cool. I'll do two handfuls of spinach first. Wait, always start the motor first prior to inserting fruits in the feed chute. Why? Uh-oh. Okay. That's all that came out? Too little. Give you guys better angle. It's actually pretty little juice. I just put two handfuls, and this is the amount of juice I got. So, I guess when people juice, they like... They juice a they shit ton. They go to ton. Costco and they get like the bags, like the 10 pound things of carrots and stuff. Oh. Like, it takes a lot to make. When you said you were going to go get stuff for juicing, I thought you were going to get like like boxes of apples. When you said apples, I didn't think well, you were going to do like one. I don't know. I didn't... I don't know. But we'll Whatever. figure it out. My mom told me to get like high quality, you know? All right, let's, we're gonna try some of the celery. My mom and my older sister, they both said it. Shut up. More product in.
need that much juice. Weird. How this taste, guys? Taste that. Let me take my invisalign out. It smells like grapefruit. Ooh, mmm. It's actually very good. It's just the skin of the lime and the grapefruit make it bitter. But it's good. Mm. Come try this, Keith. Okay. Wow, this was an expensive ass juice I just made. Mm. It's really good, right? Yeah. It's just bitter, but the bitterness is um makes it taste good. And I wanted to put the outside of the the peels in because the internet said they're healthy to eat. Yeah, it's good. And they're good for your digestive system. Like the fiber. First. This? The outside of oh. fruits and stuff. Oh. Okay, cool. really good. Hey guys, so we made some vodka sauce pasta. And we're watching some Netflix. So here's a, here's a little mukbang. Some pecorino cheese. You think it's good or you think it needs more salt? I don't think it needs more salt. Mm -hmm. I really like it. But you like salt a lot. So I know. if you want salt, you can have some. No, it's good. I'm just wondering. <laughs> no, it tastes really good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So just tasting this. I would think that like a ton of work went into it to get the sauce how it is. But you make it look really easy. It was easy, it just takes a long time. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's supposed to simmer at the onions for a long time.
Wow, she is done up. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Wow. That's funny. She looks crazy. What's that? She looks crazy. crazy. She looks crazy. They all do. We're gonna keep eating, and then we're watching Netflix, and then we go to bed. Bye! Thanks for watching. Bye.